What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Staying Stories. I am your host, Street, and I'm bringing you another overview today. Now, we're going to do an overview today of the ambient lighting in the 2018-2019 Mustang. Um, this is a Mustang GT Premium with the 401A package and the performance package with the active exhaust, the Magna Ride suspension, and the Shaker audio. So it's basically like a fully lit Mustang GT. Um, I like to call it a Shelby GT 350 light. <laughs> so what I want to do is I've, I've showed you guys, I've shown you an overview of the LCD screen. I will put a card right here so you can watch that if you're interested. Um, I've also done a full overview of the sync three system, um, for the Mustang platform. And I will also insert a card for that here. And we covered, the colors a little bit um, on the 12 inch LCD cluster display overview, but I wanted to do kind of a more in depth, um, although I don't know how in depth it can be, but I'm going to show you guys kind of what the ambient lighting does. Um, and that way, those of you guys who are interested in buying a, uh, a new Mustang can kind of see what that feature is, what it, what it's all about and how to use it. So what I've done right now is I've, I've just kind of, turn my all my lighting to white um the camera's picking that up is almost like a purplish color right now <laughs> but i've i basically kind of reset it all to white just as like a bland you know color to uh to kind of start the uh, video off with um what the ambient lighting consists of this is separate the lcd screen is separate from the ambient lighting but it, it has an overall effect of atmospheric atmospherical lighting if is that is that a word <laughs> is that the word i'm looking for i should say um it adds to it but what the ambient lighting actually is is the door handles the cup lights or the cup holder lights the door handle over there and then the lighting on the floor over here which lights up your feet um, and I'm going to show you kind of what that's all about. So we're going to start off by creating a new uh, pattern for the Mustang. And I'm actually going to go right in here, my color. And I'm going to start off by tweaking the, the color palette of my primary and secondary color. So I'm going for a theme. Uh, but I will show you all the different colors here. The primary color changes the LCD screen. By the way, I'm sorry that my my steering wheel is skewed by like, you know, 20 degrees or 15 degrees here. Um, I didn't want to start my car just so I could like rotate the wheel. Um, and I'm sorry that I'm being lazy and that I don't want to fire up the ride just to turn the wheel. I'm, I'm so sorry for that, but uh, you can get over it. <laughs> so we got... Uh, um, Again, the primary color will change colors on the LCD screen, and it changes these gauges over here. So we can go icy blue, gray, green, purple, uh, blue, orange, red, and then it's got some customized. You got three presets where you can customize some colors. I did some white and some, some red ones. So I'm going to go with a red for my primary color, because why not? It's best. Um, that way, now all the... All the kind of like, if you will, the the thing, everything that moves on here will be white. So the gas gauge, um, or red, it will be red. Uh, these are red, and then the RPMs as they climb up the uh, the tack there will be red as well. Um, so then we're going to hit the Mustang key again right here. This guy, see this? Can we focus on the Mustang key because it's pretty based? There it is. Boom. <laughs> so you hit the Mustang key. Um, brings us back into the menu. Refocus. This camera has such a hard time focusing sometimes. I've been recording all this on my Note 8. Um, I'm, I'm getting ready to get a new camera, I think. So um, hopefully that'll be better. This camera just, it's working, but it's not working. All right, secondary color is going to change basically like the lines on the LCD screen. It doesn't do much more than that. Um, so you got icy blue, gray, green, purple, blue, orange, red, and then you got my colors. And I'm actually going to leave mine white. So the primary color is red, secondary color is white. And then we're going to go to the ambient lighting now. So um, 
Let's check my, I'm on high, ambient dim high. So you can, I guess you can turn it down a little bit when you want, or you can turn it up higher and brighter. I like everything bright. You know, my eyes aren't so good anyway. So <laughs> and you can also just turn it off, you know, but why would you want to do that? It's amazing with it on. So let's change our color. So we have our regular preset. Let's get like maybe a, something like this so you can see it. So it's on white right now. There's icy blue. There's a white again, green, purple, blue. I like that blue. There's an orange, red, and then again, my presets. But we're actually gonna go with blue. And now we have a red, white, and blue theme going, which I'm loving because God bless America and I love my goddamn country. <laughs> so we got a little red, white, and blue going for the Mustang GT, which is an American icon. And I think it looks pretty sweet. I mean, I wish that you could change the keys for like the stereo and the climate control and the drive modes and the steering wheel and stuff those don't actually change they all just kind of stay that icy blue so i mean really if you wanted to just like make everything match you could turn all your colors to icy blue and i bet they would look pretty damn good together but i actually like the whole red white and blue theme because there is a lot of red and blue in here and white so <laughs> you kind of does it you mix it all up and it looks kind of cool oh and actually you know what i messed up too because i wanted to do I wanted to do this my secondary color is supposed to be blue on here whoops past it there we go now we got real red, white, and blue right there on the LCD, and the, the, it kind of mixes that. It mixes it up better now. It actually meshes everything a little bit. Oh, and I forgot the ambient lighting also includes the Mustang floor panel thing here. When you open up your door, so you open up the door, you can see the pony projector right there. But then right here in each floor, um, and on the other side as well, it's got that Mustang. So pretty badass. That changes color with um, the ambient lighting. Uh, so you can adjust the color of that. And that way, when you actually get into your car, let's have a little look-see at it. So then you open it up, and then you just got red, white, and blue, baby. Red, white, and blue. Shout out. Looks fucking sick. Not gonna lie, it looks sick. <laughs> Give you a little outdoor or out of the door kind of look at the interior here. Right? Looks super sweet. We are in my lair right now. Welcome to my lair. <laughs> Figured a better way to do this when I'm in the garage and just have it dark. Let's get another little glimpse here of everything. Pretty sweet, right? <laughs> All right, I hope you guys appreciate that. That is a uh, an overview of the 2018-2019 ambient lighting, and uh, it's definitely a must, dude. I'm so glad that they put this into the car and allowed us a little further customization. It just makes it so much better, in my opinion. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Comment below if you have an idea for your, uh, the next video, a new topic, something you want me to do an overview on. I'm happy to do it. And don't forget to follow me on Silver Stanks, or follow me on Instagram at SilverStang707 for daily content on the car. And uh, we have a lot of fun over there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.